All right, welcome back to some more Risk of Rain. So we are still on our uh, sniper run, of course, until by the title. Don't know how many parts it is so far. I don't know how many parts it is until I'm done recording, but uh, so far my items are meh. The character is, the, the thing is that this character is probably one of the worst characters in the game, damage-wise. And uh, therefore, it kind of is like, you need you need some good items. You need some good items to win with this character. Because if you don't get it, you're probably not going to win. That's pretty much the gist of this character. I'm like, against the wall, he can still hit me. I was like, eh, if I'm against the wall, maybe he can't hit me. He can still hit me. Another thing is I can't reload while on ropes or... And stuff. I think that's that's another thing that sucks about the sniper. He's slow. He's not very interesting as a character. Lots of snow golems. Like lots of snow golems. Jump back. Charge it up. By the time they run over here, I should kill them. Alright. Just lots of snow golems. Spite's awesome for me, but for them, it's kind of a pain in the dick. They are way too fucking fast for the sniper. Okay, if I fill this run, I'll probably do like one more run with the sniper. I'd like to at least get a half an hour of recording done so I don't have to record for a couple days. And uh, that keeps Risk of Rain fresh in my mind. Where, and instead of having to record like every other day, like I had to record with goddamn Shovel Knight and get frustrated. This game, just every couple of days, maybe like once a week, sit down, record some. Some characters I get to play with that I really like, some characters I don't, but, you know. Characters I'm not good with or characters I don't like, I can play in easy mode. And characters that I think are really good or I'm, I have fun with, I can play on medium mode. Try to unlock uh, some of them, uh... Oh, there's Golem. And try to unlock some, uh, some more of them monster log things. I forgot what they're called. I really did. I think that's called monster logs, but I really can't remember. For the love of me. And then just try to do that. Oh. Uh, I like the, I like the idea of the sniper. It's just, I just wish they would give him an upgrade. Like, update him and, like, take either take out the sniping mechanic or upgrade his damage to... You know, even more, because you gotta compensate for that slow DPS, because he is just, like, one of the worst characters in the game because of it, and it's just like, okay, that's fair. Because I had to reload and stuff, I have the worst DPS in the game. God, these enemies are just jumping me right now, like, I really can't even get, I'm not fast enough to get away from these enemies, like. Jump back. Snipe them. Lots of damage to me. I'm just not fast enough to get away from these enemies and get room to snipe. Pretty much just gotta quick fire it. I would love to charge it all the way up to max and, you know, fire and do a whole bunch of damage, but I just... I can't. More health regen is nice. Totally don't mind more health regen. ATG missiles too. That hurt. That really hurt. This is on easy mode. That's a sad thing, and I'm having this hard of a time. Old box, okay. I guess that's a kind of useful item for the sniper. Makes them run away from me, so give me more time to do movements and attacks. Haven't even started working on the boss yet. Been kind of running around trying to handle all these enemies. You know what the good thing is, and the thing that's promising? Next run, I get to play with the actual character that I like, and then after the run after that, I get to play the character I really like too. So the next runs are going to be fun runs, runs that I like to do, and characters that I actually like. And after that, I'll probably that would be done. Me introducing all the characters, and then I can start uh, either playing as characters that I want to play, or uh, 
maybe doing like randomizer.org and just you know plugging all the characters in and just being like, oh, okay, who are we playing as today? Because they don't have a random function on this game, like Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac's another game that I really like, but I just suck at it, so that's why you never see me play it. I used to play it, but I ended up deleting those videos a long time ago, so. Ow, that hurt. Oh my god. I'm trying to like hop out of the way of these damn enemies. These golems though. They're just chasing me down. I'm gonna take out this <sighs> elite golem. A missile elite golem. This game pretty much just said fuck my life. <laughs> missile elite golem. As you can clearly see, I'm just taking way too long on this stage. I found the teleporter really quickly, but taking too long on the stage because my damage sucks. Nor do I, nor have I really got any items to really increase my damage as well. Like, I'm gonna have to use some drones to help me out. Because without drones, I don't think I can do it. At least I got a pretty good drone, so that's helping out. Damage is, the DPS has increased because I picked up the drone, so that's good. Just charge up my sniper rifle. Fully charged it. This should kill him. Yep. Another air ground missile. Okay, I guess. Got a lot more enemies to kill. This one stage is probably going to take up a part. Go ahead and play this. Wanted more air to ground missiles, but I kind of missed it. The roulette machine's good because they can give you some good items, but you just got time to right. Or you can just exploit the game by keep on pausing it, but I'm not going to cheat. You'd think they would go after the ghost, but nope, still after me. Still aggro to me. There we go. Let's go ahead and walk around. That's another thing. He should be able to reload his gun while on the ropes. Oh, got a pretty good item. Oh, a tier 2 chest there. I'm not sure. Really, I want to say, oh, got a pretty good item. Can't confirm that. Yeah, I like Will of the Wisp. I don't hate Will of the Wisp. Oh, I want that drone. This character needs drones. The more drones, the better. I really don't have enough money to really justify playing the shrines and throwing away my money. There might be stuff like drones and stuff that I can just naturally purchase. So, yep, this stage is pretty much going to take an entire part. So, I guess this is part two. Like I said, not sure how long I'm going to survive with this character, but... Gotta climb up here and take out 11 more enemies, and then we can go ahead and move on to, uh... The God area? This is the third stage, right? No, no, not the God area. Uh, it's either gonna be Magma Barracks or, uh... Hive. It's been a cool minute since I've played this game. Cool minute. Kinda forgot the stage order and stuff. Always kill these enemies up here and come back and get that. Oh wow, they have a freaking health elite. Awesome. Awesome, health elite. Just kind of hop around. I really can't get them. The platform's not wide enough for me to really dish out any damage. Oh. The freaking uh, f clover actually came through. Ah, <sighs> I wanted that guardian heart. Fine, tough times is fine. Really wanted that guardian's heart though. Five enemies remain. Hey, look at that. DPS definitely increased because of that. Are they up here? Yep, they're right there. Not gonna go to, uh, uh, what's it called? 
Do I have enough money to uh, get that? Yes, I do, actually. Awesome. Not gonna go to uh, Boar Beach. Not worth it. Yes! Wicked Ring. I don't have anything to increase my cooldowns, but that's a pretty good tier 3 item. Criticals release cooldowns, even though cooldowns really don't matter for this character. Still a good item. Alright, well, this was uh, part 2. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. See you guys in part 3.